Welcome back to Robot Once It All! Last time we did... we played for quite a while last time. We played through Robot Once Fishy Classic, as well as the bonus mode, the randomized Fishy Once Robot. So nothing too crazy for today. We are looking at the remix mode. Now, I actually wonder if the tiny mutator could potentially be helpful in a normal run since we could see further away. And there's going to be a, a lot more backtracking and a lot less move pushing against the, you know, something. Anyway, this is meaty. This is a big one. You could tell by my time on the side. Granted, that was a a blind playthrough. And I kind of know what I'm doing this time, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep Tiny on. And we'll see what happens. We've already seen this. So the very intro is actually rough. And this whole thing is rough. Honestly. But the intro alone, like, dude, I just want to get... I just want to get out of here. There's the friggin' boss down there and everything. Okay, so we gotta get this guy out of the way. I got up here first try, I'm shocked. You know how many times I died trying to get up here last time? Okay, well, I just ate that because I'm dumb. Like, I took so long just getting around this corner and getting up there to that save point. Okay, so bam, we got our save. Not worrying about the crystal, we will be back later. So we gotta get that ducky. That's important. Cool. Whatever, I'll try. I tried and failed. At least we have a save point over there, though. So the trouble is that the boss is right friggin' there. Okay, we did it. We got to this save point. Now, the next problem... The next problem is that those jellyfish are all down there very much in the way. There's not a lot we can do about that. Like, if you wait long enough... Come on! Oh, whatever. I'm just gonna die anyway. If you wait long enough, they kind of eventually leave you alone. Um, but we're just gonna have to go... Do not let your feet touch spikes! You can let your head touch spikes, but not your feet. Okay, so that thing down there in the lower corner is a nightmare. Don't even bother with it right now. Instead, chill here until the snails destroy these crystals. Then you can get out and save. That area down there is probably going to be one of the very last areas that we actually travel to. We still have no attacks, so we just have to jump over everything. I don't know where the nearest save point is. We need to go up there where those robots are. Oh, butts. That actually looks like kind of a tricky jump. But I want to jump... 
Um, I want to try to get over to the left, which may end up proving difficult. Okay, good, we made it. Well, I wanted to because there's a save point up here, and I figured getting to that save point would be easier than the other save point, but maybe not. If I die in the big room, anyway. Okay, we saved. Okay, now we've just got to get through this room and hopefully not die to all of these robots. Oh, I made that jump. Sometimes you can make a three-tile-high jump. Well, I only have one hit, but here we go. Nope, 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 nope. Tucking does so little. Oh, can I get it? Heck yeah! Just kill me, save me some trouble. All right, we've officially made it to the teleporter. So what is our goal here? We cannot do anything on that side. I actually think this may be where we need to go first. We need a weapon before we can do pretty much anything. And that looks very much like a weapon. All right! Get wrecked! Given that arc, it almost feels like these things are homing in. I just thought that'd be real neat if they made little homing missiles. Okay. These guys are new, I believe? Uh, they ch obviously, they charge you. You um, look at the color of their back. They, when they see you, they kind of get angry and go, Boo! Color of the back charges up. Uh, when it hits full, they actually do the charge. You can only hit them on their back. No, I want to kill that robot. Come here. Dang. Okay, well, let's go down here. Is there anything cool down here? Not really. Got him. So there's not a lot else we can do over here. I think we need other power-ups to do most things. Uh, let's see here. We can't go that way yet. We can potentially do something up here. This is the area of a lot of bats. Just kill the bats. Easy. Also, there are turrets. Thin in the herd. Oh, 
Oh, maybe we can't do anything here yet. We may need explosives. Well, clearing out all these bats is progress all on its own. No, we do not need explosives, actually. Though explosives are just going to make coming back easier. I think that right turret is going to be a little too hard for us to kill right now, so we'll just worry about him later. Got hit, but it's fine. It's not fine. to go around this way? I don't want to go around this way. This way looks dangerous. There are bats down here. No, I can't actually go this way. Oh no, we need the happy computer before we can do anything down here. Well, again, we cleared out bats, so that's progress all on its own. Okay, so we need a happy computer before we can do anything this way. But you know, we cleared out bats. Okay, turrets are kind of butts. Ah, oh, there's the happy computer code. All right, I'm not gonna bother going over there just yet. I'm not gonna bother killing these guys either. It's just gonna be, it's gonna be a waste. Like, I, even though I could kill a number of them, it's gonna be real time consuming. And we're gonna have to come back anyway. So let's just come back with a little more firepower. Okay, now with the happy computer, we can hit you. Oh, can I get that? Oh, I can hit the turn, so that counts. Got it, cool. Okay, double jump. Now we have some mobility. What does that let us do? Well, we can make the computer happy over here. There's not a lot we can do up here. I could push my way through with the armored chassis. But we're supposed to have the bubble shield. Doesn't look like a lot else to do this way. So I think where we're going next is this way. That's fine.
Oh yeah, let's try this again. Dang it. Dang it. Quick, before he wakes up. Dang it. He woke up. I'm bad at this. Whatever, we made it this far. Oh wait, no, we can't go this way. We don't have the shield. Dang it. Okay, well, if we don't have the shield, and we can't go that way... Anything up here that's cool? Oh, that's right, we can actually soak in water. Not that that really helps us. Yeah, not much we can do up there for now. You know what? Um, I'm going to take that... If I can get up there without getting a hit, I'm going to take that damage power up. Oh, no, I don't, because I don't have... I don't have underwater attack. Okay, well, we'll just come back to that. Okay, down here, I don't think there's much we can do down here. But we can make computers happy. Never in a good position to be able to snipe something. Kill him, at least. I'll just die a lot, it's fine. What's the worst that could happen? You take away some of my... Take away some of my score at the end. Clearing it all out, little by little. Okay, so I can't go that way, but I can go this way. And we get the shield! Okay. Which now will let us go to that place that I just went to and couldn't do anything. And we can use the heavy computer to get back out. Or could just die, I guess. Okay, so that was over here. Ooh, made it without getting a hit. Now I'm gonna get hit down here. Yep, right there. Like, I don't necessarily want to go out of my way to kill these turrets. I mostly just want to get down here. So I can do that. Now that turret, on the other hand, needs to die. There 
It's fine. It's fine. I mean, look how much we're killing. Holy heck, why are there so many bullets? God, I hit immediately. Like, what's even the point? There's so many bullets! Shield must have worn off. Okay, cool. We killed him. It's one less guy to worry about. And with that guy gone, it's going to be a lot easier to get the second one. Oh, cool, we got it. Oh, just going to build up a pile of dead robot bodies down here. Got him! Oh, this is concerning. Thanks. Thanks. So I would like to get that. The reason I find this concerning... is because this is an exceptionally precise jump. Oh, but you know what? Um, because we have the chassis, I can just take a hit and get out that way. Man, you have like no invulnerability frames though. All right, well, I'll try the jump, and we'll see how precise it is. This is a very precise jump, even with a robot that isn't kind of slow. And I didn't have my double jump for some reason. Yeah, we're, like, not even close moving slower. I don't think I can make it all the way onto that from there. something. There's got to be some way to get out of here. There's no way I'm just friggin' soft-locked. Well, I've had prouder moments. But this room is a soft lock, if you're playing as this bot, and I don't necessarily agree with that, so I had to cheat my way up here. So what we have here, though, moving on from that, is... Look, I was wasting 40 minutes of my time, 10 minutes to see if I could cheat my way out of it as a different matter. Um... So what we have here is actually a new mechanic for the remix. Which is these two buttons here. Which, 
you do not need to hit them at the same time, but you do need to hit them with the same attack. Which means you have to be able to fire two missiles at the same time. When m one missile hits one, it kind of punches in. And then when the second missile hits the second one, the door opens. And now we have the double shot. There's still nothing we can do over here. But with the double shot, I think there is somewhere else we can go. I forget where, though. Was it down here? No, that's a... Oh, it's over there. This is just right down here, too, so it's not even, like, a big deal. There we go. Ooh, you're also required to have to take a hit before you can go in there. And we don't have the shield. Well, let's see what else we can do then. If you had the shield in the um, soft lock room, then that is another way that you could have progressed. Yeah, we can go down here now that we have double jump. We can't do that, though. And I remember getting there without the shield before. Okay, so the shield will also let us go that way. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything we can do to go up. We can't do anything going down without explosives. Oh, we do have the shield, so we can go up here now. This is kind of a nightmare area. This area is far easier once you have the magnet. Or the shield, honestly. I'm not even sure you're supposed to be able to do it without that. Let's poke back up here. Yeah, because now that we have the shield, we can go in there. Or not the shield, the reflect, we can go in here. This is a butt of a boss, by the way. I died so many times. Okay, we got one. Okay, cool, we got two. Keep that guy dead because we're gonna be coming in and out a lot. Um, be careful. not to activate all of the computers until you've killed all the turrets. You absolutely want all the turrets dead. Okay, so that's all the bottom ones.
So like that turret, or that uh, switch there on the right, do not hit that switch. If you hit that switch, this boss becomes almost unbeatable. Like, before defeating these turrets. We're almost there. Having the extra hit will help considerably, though. Let's go ahead and take you out while we're here. Just so it's one less thing we have to worry about. Okay, there's that. Free the beast. You'll have so many bullets coming at you. If you stand back here, you don't get hit by the turrets, thank heavens. Or by the boss, you do get hit by the other turrets. Um, the reason you want to make sure all of the other turrets are dead is because it's just too much to dodge. There we go, there's the boss. There's our shield. And that shield will let us do things. So technically, if you didn't want to soft lock, you could have come here first. Um, boss would have been a little bit harder without the double shot. Um, but if you had the shield, you could have gotten out of the soft lock room. So now that we have the shield... I think we can go this way as well as we I don't think there's much forest down there yet. Let's go up first. We can't go down without explosives, but we can go through this barrier. We don't have a means of attacking underwater, so we can't do anything down here. Okay, so I do we, without explosives, I don't know what all we can do. I'm holding off on that crusher testing. I'm hoping we can get the magnet before we go in there. I don't think there's anything we can do up this way. Yeah, because that just leads over there to that. I never went... Oh, we have the, um... We do have the orb, the sphere, the the guard, the hip, the whatever. So that means we can actually go up here now. Let's clear out what we can up here. I'm hoping we get um, high explosives up here. It looks like that's what we'll get. If we get high explosives, that's going to be... It's going to be at minimum something we can do. Yeah, that's him, him up there. Being that guy that's up there. Not high explosives. Instead, it's the triple shot. Well, with the triple shot would let us do the thing underwater if we could get there. Mm -hmm. 
Well, at the very least, we have a lot more firepower now. Explosives would be real nice. Okay, so with the shield, we're no longer soft lock if we go back in there. But I don't think there's anything we can do here. Well, I can get this damage up by just tanking a few hits. Which technically we wouldn't have access to. But I am grateful for the damage up. I don't think that... No, there's nothing else down inside that we can get right now. We can scope back out this area? I don't think there's a lot we can do over here. Okay, so that's what we need, but we have to beat the boss first. Can't beat the boss without being able to attack underwater, so we need to be able to attack underwater. Extra mode is so confusing. Like, I... This is where, even though I've played this before, I still have almost no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing. I mean, at least we cleared them out, so that's that. We can't attack underwater, though, so we can't do anything. Yeah, we can't do anything over there, so... Okay, that's out of the picture. Really? Like, technically, there's one thing we can do, but I'm gonna worry about that later. It's not important right now. So we get explosives from there, so we need the ability to attack underwater. Once we can do that, we unlock a couple things. Okay, surely there's something else here. We never actually went down here, now that I think about it. I don't know how much going down here is actually going to help, because I think this is mostly just a boss we can't beat. But maybe we can sneak something out of the arena. I kind of remember being able to sneak something out of the arena. Also, there's just a lot of enemies in here. And being able to clear them out even a little. Okay, so you gotta beat all the bosses before you can go in there. Also, if you die, send all the way back. No, it doesn't look like there's anything I can sneak out of this room.
Take out some of these hundred thousand turrets, though. Okay, probably one more round. Clear what I can. If I die, I'll just leave. These bats aren't even, a, like, a threat, really. They're just there. So what's that? Yeah, robot, and looks like two turrets, probably. Okay, all that's left is the boss, nothing else for us here. And we can't attack the boss because this is the bat boss and you need explosives to beat the bat boss. Oh, I didn't collapse her. Got him. Okay, so that leaves us with only really one option. And that's jump into the one lone stray bullet. I'm gonna double check over here. I do not think there's anything else for us over here. No, there's not. <laughs> 